they went a little bit early on, on some of Illinois' big guards. It, the Illini going to play that bully ball, that booty ball. They're going to have to trap, but you've got to be judicious about it. If you're, you're trapping at 17 feet, that's going to be a problem for Northwestern. The Northwestern on their home court, looking for their second top 10 win on this court this season. And after taking down Purdue in their conference opener. Bowie against Shannon to get the first half court set started. And the miss is swatted out to Quincy Garriott. Nice job there by Terrence Shannon of staying in that play. Bowie a little bit off balance. That floppy action is going to be there all night long. Northwestern loves to run it for Langborg and Barry. Illinois going to have to make sure they lock in on cutters off the basketball as well. This was a matchup that Marcus DeMask dominated. And Shannon misses on his first three. Western coming off a road loss against Nebraska. They had several chances to tie or take the lead late after they trailed by 11 twice in that second half. Here's Nicholson going upstairs for the dunk. And that's where Matthew Nicholson has been so much better, just getting out of his screening action and getting to the rim as a roller. But I thought the initial screen from Langborg got Shannon a bit behind, and now that big is just creeping up. How's that pass to Nicholson? Well done by Northwestern. And he's got the defense on the guy that plays the point guard for Illinois, Ty Rogers. And they've talked about the Northwestern staff that the need for Matthew Nicholson to play better, and we've seen that over the last two games. This is a different guy than going into that first Illini matchup. Langborg, long on that. Hawkins there for the rebound. the guard guarding Coleman Hawkins make, make him play out of the post it's something that he can do but he's certainly more comfortable out there on the perimeter playing against bigger defenders when you're going to see Northwestern switch a lot less in this game compared to what they did the first I just time think to, to keep some of their smaller guards off guys like Damask and Gary and it, it makes sense I thought they trapped way too far out in the first meeting and then they were just really poor with their weak side help as well Langborg was quiet in that first game. Didn't hit a three against Illinois. Now getting late clock, Bowie. And a rebound for Darian. Boo Bowie. Look at him, just two of his last 17 from the field. Good defense right there, though, getting back in that play. And he had the swipe. Shannon was leading the break. And Barnheiser off a career high against Nebraska on Saturday. Can't hit, and Ty Rogers snatches that. Coleman Hawkins downhill with the rip through in the first basket for Illinois. Right, well done by Illinois. A little outlet pass, and what a luxury it is to have your five man able to lead the break. Well done by Northwestern in terms of their transition defense. A little bit slow getting back, and it's Coleman Hawkins all the way to the basket. Rob, this has been a really good month of ball for Coleman Hawkins. No doubt about that. You look at his just his numbers over the last two games and the way that he's filled a stat sheet. Well, Terrence Shannon is just putting his head down and barreling into defenders. Saw it against Rutgers. Right there, Boo Bowie just getting trucked. So first foul on Bowie. That's the first on Northwestern. We were talking to Brad Underwood about that this morning. Who does he remind you of in transition? Terrence Shannon. The only one he could come up with was LeBron. And he certainly is a specimen in terms of college basketball. LeBron James is a different beast in itself. The second chance. Here's Shannon. Pass Langborg and he weaves it home. And he just can get to the rim, whether it's in the half court, in the open floor, and they're off the closeout little Euro step. Taron Shannon, that's what we saw against Rutgers, and you can expect a heavy dose of him driving it tonight. Here's Bowie with the runner, and that sits down for him. Nice screen right there. Matthew Nicholson just picking off Taron Shannon. Illinois in that drop. Mid range opportunities are going to be there for Bowie. He had 20 points the first time they played Illinois, but didn't have an assist. He was the top scorer in that game for Northwestern. And what a move underneath, plus the foul for Rodgers. Illinois has some terrific cutters. Quincy Gary is certainly one, but Ty Rodgers, you've got to be aware as well. This is a terrific finish. All the way around on the reverse layup, gets the contact. And you see Ty Rodgers right there in the corner. Being guarded by a center, Nicholson coming over, late getting back, and that's just a heck of a play from Ty Rogers. I know you're a big Jordan meme guy. 
Ty Rogers took it personally that people stopped guarding him and started putting five guys on. Well, he, he's been a little bit up and down from a scoring perspective. You know, you look at his last five, four, 15, five, 15, and two. Foul trouble certainly limited his minutes against Rutgers, but he he's a unique player. He's got, he's got a lot of ability, but not a traditional guard that you could say. Tough angle, Bowie finishes past Hawkins. Gets Bowie and an air ball. Second chance, Hawkins. And he can't weave it up. And a third chance coming. This is going to be the game for Northwestern. They have struggled in conference play to rebound. And you give Illinois multiple opportunities, eventually they're going to cash in. Oh, tough rebound for Langborn down there at the bottom of the pile. And a jump ball will keep it with Illinois. Time constraints. We now move ahead in the action. Both down for Shannon. Back to back trips and transition for him where he's tagged a second foul on a Wildcat. That was yeah, the second on Martinelli. thing for him against Rutgers was that it was from the jump. You know, he just he got in transition immediately. That's where he brings something that Noy just doesn't have with anybody else. And I don't think nobody has in college basketball. And now Barnheiser found the touch. I think that certainly the way he's played, so impressive. Five straight games and double figures. But that, that wrap on his hand has gotten reduced. And I think that that's helped some of his shooting, dealing with the injury to a ligament in his shooting hand. Mm. The mask mid-range, it goes. His wheels and deals. And that dude is so comfortable of taking his time, using that pivot, and using his size to just find what he wants. Illinois going for the sweep one game back in the loss column of the Big Ten to Wisconsin at the start of the night There's Bowie same spot as before That floater is not easy from 17 feet, but he makes it look like it's such a normal shot Eight points for Bowie trying to lead Northwestern to a top 10 win for the second time this year and Gary all bottom That's a tough guard for Nicholson right there. He's trying to, to stop the basketball with that pick and pop and with Gary a, he's been a little bit of a streaky shooter at times this year but the last two games three of seven from three and heavy for Bowie Western has been ice cold from three here tonight driving kick Shannon good he's already knocked two down and way short on that I just don't like the shot. Luke Goody, when he's open, anytime needs to put it up. But when that ball is above your head, you've got to jump up, secure it, come back down and shoot it. Your percentage is plummet. Better pass, you're good with it. No, that. and that's what it needs to be. I just think if the pass is not there, then you got to understand I'm, I'm moving this thing and we're we're looking for a better shot. Bowie Drew Hawkins, Goody switches. Martinelli got a three. Illinois just not sharp with, with that switch. Coleman Hawkins a little bit late. And Nick Martinelli, who's not been shooting it all that well, one of six from three his last three games, knocking down a big one for the Cats. First one that Northwestern's hit. The mask off the shot fake. Goody gives this time. And it's Hawkins. Ooh, wow, crazy up toward the rim. Northwestern beat these guys here last year. That was the first time in a while. Illinois has won 10 of the last 11 against the Wildcats. This has not been a good possession for Northwestern. Now Barnheiser just got to make an individual play, but hey, when shots go down, it, it masks a lot of your problems. Shannon couldn't quite him, but Hawkins does. 11 zip Illinois on the offensive glass, and Goody is going 12 and a half. That was the angle they used to overturn it. So instead of 28, uh, 29, 28, 29, 27. Northwestern trying to get it tied or take a lead here late in the clock. And Martinelli side back for the spacing there by Northwestern, just not great. So jumbled up and a great look for Martinelli. Clock and 
single digits. Shannon. Kick out Damask. Buries it. Yeah, that's a high level jab step right there by Terrence Shannon. He just loses his defender. The help has to come. And Marcus Damask, who was 0 of his last six from three, knocks down a wide open one from that right wing. Here's Barnheiser into the body. Count that plus the foul. Back in the Chicago studios. Preston, offensive rebound, and he'll go to the line. Robbie, Northwestern, is on the board on the offensive glass. <laughs> yes. Man, I, is it Illinois at one point was tied. They're, they had the same number of offensive rebounds as they did defensive. Right now they're plus two on the defensive glass with 13 defensive rebounds and 11 on the offensive glass. Plus 14. Preston splits them. 130 till the half. Next foul. The Northwestern will put Illinois at the free throw line. The bonus. And Jordan Clayton into the game for the Wildcats. Goody misses. Rebound Langford. Well, the Cats fortunate right there. Just not a very good switch. Look, Goody got a great look. And he is still kind of flexing. Squeezing his fist tight when he thought he should have hit. Final minute, first half. Five on the clock, Langford. Nowhere to go there. Shannon jumping a passing lane. Bowie splits it and scores it. That is a leap by Boo Bowie. That shot clock's winding down. So many players would panic. But Bowie knew exactly how much time he had. That's a big time drive. The mask grinding. Help came over and left it short. And there's Northwestern playing a little bit of that cat and mouse there. I still think when, when small guards are guarding some of these Illinois post players, that trap needs to come, but you could see Blake Preston trying to keep the mask a little bit off balance. Shot clock off. Chris Collins, Brian James directing the troops. Here's Bowie. And it goes! We got ourselves a good one here in Evanston. Illinois in their second game with Terrence Shannon back in the lineup. A Big Ten title contender. These teams are third and fourth in the Big Ten standings, and Gary smacks a three to start the second half. And the screen by Ty Rogers is just so good right there. You're screening in Gary A. Northwestern bringing that double on the Terrence Shannon drive. He's got Gary locked and loaded from that corner. Northwestern, even with being out rebounded by a lot, he took a lead into halftime. Langborg gives it right back to him. Well, I think Gary thought that that ball was going to be thrown into the post. It was a little bit of a jab. Langborg gave that a look, and then he just came back and fired. He refound his shot on the road against Nebraska, their last game. Rodgers into the post, blocked by Nicholson, and he steers it clear. Great matchup here to all league guards. Bowie against Shannon. And Bowie short. Shannon behind. Taps it away. Here's Shannon with speed. And he's rim stuffed with a second chance. And that is cashed in for Damas. Just the pressure he puts. And certainly for Terrence Shannon, it's going to take some time to get his legs back. Look at him before the suspension. That's a dunk for sure, but still Illinois staying with it and another offensive rebound paying off. Uh, Bowie in and out. He's had some, some tough breaks with his jumper here in this game and against Nebraska. And Northwestern played a really clean game. In the first half, as far as turnovers, just one turnover in this game. That's what they do. It's been amazing to see the way they take care of the basketball and that their turnover margin. Certainly something that helps offset their 
Lack of defensive rebounding at times. Bowie spinning on Hawkins had to give it up. Barnheiser with the ball away. Boy, he just used Bowie as a semi ball screen right there. Coleman Hawkins not ready for it. And Illinois encountering the screen, and Barnheiser gets it from 12 feet. The mask asking for Rogers to clear. And he gets Nicholson, and Nicholson called for the foul. Everybody else, you know, that, that's kind of clumped up behind. And they would own two massive wins against Purdue and Illinois if they do it, but Hawkins trying to put a stop to that. It's just going to be a tough guard right there. You're trying to stun over from Langborg, but Coleman Hawkins has shot the ball really well over the last 10 games. Struggled a little bit as of late, but he can certainly make that pick and pop. One of seven from three against Rutgers, but one of the best games of his career before that against Michigan. Now, I thought the way he filled the stat sheet against Rutgers as well. I mean, both those games, and right there, he, he's a really good defensive player. That's just better offense from Brooks Barnheiser, embracing the physicality and going right at Hawkins around the rim. It was a slow start to this game for Barnheiser. Got it going, and Rodgers, that reverse again. But I think Matthew Nicholson is way too high. I mean, he, they're coming off that ball screen. You're just giving up layups. If you're in that drop, you've got to be dropping with the level of your man. Illinois wants to hammer you in the paint. Nice. Big talk at Northwestern shoot around. Make them play out high. Barry hides out. Man drills it. Well, they need him. And there's another miscommunication there by Illinois. Just botching that switch. And when you got two going with the cutter, that means that Ty Barry is all by himself. Leave off Hawkins blocks. Nicholson gives it away. Whoa. <laughs> this has been an interesting possession. And Langford got the time. Play. That's a legal play now. All those meetings you sat through preseason worth it. <laughs> Here's Barry turning the corner. And knocking it down. Really good two-man action there. Blake Preston has given Northwestern some good minutes off the bench. Chris Collins pushing the right buttons. He hasn't played. They've been going to Luke Hunger. Also Matthew Nicholson off the bench. But here, Preston set a great screen on Ty Berry. And he's camped out in the paint as Hawkins goes to work on the smaller buoy. Help comes. Foul on the ground. He didn't shoot. It's been a different story since halftime. Yeah, he, he only played eight minutes due to those two fouls in the first half. Didn't take a shot. Didn't score a point. But... 39 seconds. He's got two shots up and has five points. Good response from Ty Berry after battling some early fouls. Oh, that's a strong look for Coleman Hawkins out of the timeout. And I'm shocked, and I think Chris Collins is yelling at Blake Preston right now, especially to protect Berry with his fouls. That Hawkins just had one on one, and you know Ty Berry doesn't want to get that third. Smart play by Illinois to go right at him. Barry's been hot out of halftime. Stays hot. No kidding on that. He is playing with so much confidence. This rhythm not affected. That's that same pin down play. And he left Marcus Damask in the dust with that step back jumper. Gary, open look. Cashes it in. That's a real answer. And Terrence Shannon's dribble penetration. The most athletic in terms of speed and power that you will see in the country in terms of college hoops. Langborg protected it. These curls are just killing Illinois. And Langborg and Barry have come off more of those pin down screens. They are getting those guys on that action, and Illinois has not been able to stop it. Northwestern is plus 12 inside the paint. Gary A give up. Shannon blows past two, and Preston had to reach out and grab it. Guerrier off a shot fake. And he had Justin Harmon on the cut, just couldn't get it to him. Here's Shannon with the burst. Whips at Guerrier. The cover came. And the mask long. Guerrier tapped it alive, and Hawkins puts it away. Northwestern just closing out. Really did a nice job, but again, if you're not getting defensive rebounds, that effort is all for naught. Credit Illinois. They are living on the offensive glass. Really kind of an inverse stat as that's turned over. One of the rare turnovers. Telegraphed by Ty Berry. 
And Damask right to the rack. That turnover leads to a layup for Marcus Damask. Nicholson, offensive rebound. Barnheiser knocks it in. That's a man's rebound by Matthew Nicholson. He's looked like a different player the last three. Just rips it out of the hands of Terrence Shannon. What a find for him, top of the key. The mask blocked. Barnheiser called for the foul. A quad one road opportunity for Illinois. And on the flip side of that, Northwestern with only three more quad one opportunities on their schedule as of now. You know, those net rankings that they fluctuate, but you think about just with this the way that the Big Ten has played out in non-conference play, there, there's not nearly the opportunities that we have seen to get quad one wins this season. Now at Purdue and at Michigan State. Well, this is their last opportunity at home, right? Now. You think about that. For Northwestern to get a quad one win. Yeah. Which is one of the metrics the, the committee looks at, factors into the net. And it helps you for NCAA tournament positioning. And moving into the body of Goody, help from Hawkins, and he took steps. Oh, this is going to be interesting. The Deltre Carr started to call travel, though, didn't he? Yeah, he called the travel. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sure on that one. I, that's, I have not seen that. Okay. Northwestern second chance. And it rolls down. <laughs> it pops out on Damask. Clover trip there for the Cats. No kidding. That thing was all the way down. That and the inadvertent whistle. Bowie created the space. Nicholson's tip is no good. Barnheiser got out on Harmon. Hawkins with the long strides and it rolls down for him. There's just no help defense there. Nobody helping Ryan Langborg stop that bounce, but well done by Coleman Hawkins putting his head down and getting all the way to the basket. It was a two point game at halftime. Two point game right now. Back door, Bowie. Hawkins recovers. Back in the play. The mass strong off the window. Northwestern with some pretty good transition defense. Disadvantage basketball, but again, Damask, that ability, that patience, it, it pays off around the basket. And Harmon got called for the foul. Trying to come on the road, win their third straight. Wins against Michigan and Rutgers. And Terrence Shannon, five points in the books at this point. You have to think he's still trying to find his rhythm with his jumper, but, but certainly when you've missed that much time, it's going to take some time. And this is where he can be really effective and has been effective tonight. And that will not count. That foul is on the ground on Bowie. And that shot will not count. He just takes contact on and goes right through it. There's that bump, and if you're in the NBA, that, that's going to be a continuation, but college hoops, that's going to be on the floor. That was number three on Boo Booey, his third foul, and Booey's got to come out. Under two minutes away from the under eight. Does he sit that long? It's, it depends on what the game is given Chris Collins, but certainly he is such a driver of their offense. 
First possession without Bowie on the floor. They get a miss from Gary. I just think that I think you'll see him at the under eight. I think you get him a minute 45 here, and once you get to that media timeout, you're feeling good about bringing him back. Just tell him, hey, you cannot pick up that four. Kaiser has size on Harmon. Hawkins over to help, and that's a foul. Hawkins wondering why. He's had such active hands. 11 steals the last two games, which is a truly incredible number. I think Coleman Hawkins just, he can't lose his mind here. I mean, that, that's a foul. And that, that can't take you out of what you need to be doing here on the floor. He's too important to their team. Fans here don't like it, but there is clearly contact across the arm. You understand why he might take that gamble, right? No, I mean he, he's he's certainly shown that he, he can take your rock if you're not ready for him. I, I don't mind the gamble. I just think that when he reacts like that, it's you can't take yourself out of the next play. Barry to the line, Shannon called for that foul. There's no doubting his ability. It's been more about consistency, which this has been his most consistent 10 game stretch of his career he's got a lot of talent that, that line got him a, a Carl Landry mention yeah, Carl Landry is one of the more underrated players of the last 20 years in the Big Ten he, he was a monster one and two for Barry he's had a good second half no scoring in the first half nine points for Ty Barry for Northwestern in the second half the mask has been the top guy for Illinois tonight was almost exactly a minute on the bench for Boo Booey. Shannon trying to break free. Martinelli forced to give up. And Harmon took the ball. Martinelli the rebound. Help defense there. It was Ty Berry coming over and, and stopping the ball. Got Justin Harmon out of the paint and made him take a tough contested two. This entire game has been played in a nine point window. Illinois is led by as many as five, Northwestern by as many as four. Bowie passed to Mass. But look at the space he's got. You know, Northwestern essentially is going 1 4 right there and saying, let's see if Marcus DeMass can check Boo Bowie one on one. The explosive drive for Bowie gives him 14 on the night. Harmon circling and tough look. Tap back. No! Well, Illinois has been brutal with layups tonight. They're now 11 of 22 on shots at the rim. You had an Illinois fan come up behind you at halftime and say, <laughs> said, we need to make some layups. And the Bowie misses, but Barnheiser slices through there. Three Barry. And that slides off, but Barnheiser fighting, and Hawkins down with the rebound. Illinois has got numbers. Oh, Shannon in the dust. Terrence Shannon into the rim on a dunk attempt. Down for Illinois. Look at where he took off from. And certainly that, that contact from Ty Berry sends him to the floor. Flight group free throws. And, and if Ty Berry winds up and just smokes Terrence Shannon in, in the head there, I get it. But that, that's. He's making a play on that basketball, and that, that should not be a flagrant, in my opinion. How do you determine intent. what's malicious or what's intent when there is contact to the head? We're trying to keep the players safe, but I like that type of call can change this game. And I just I hate that that's called a flagrant. That gives Illinois an extra chance to mask short. Goodies follow. Sends him to the line. Just been on the offensive glass all night long. 16 offensive boards is it's an insane number. Rob, it couldn't be any more different watching these teams on the offensive glass as far as who they send and how many they send. Illinois seems like they send everybody. Right. <laughs> That's the problem. They just have such big guards and active guards. You got Shannon, Damas, Goody. Those three of your backcourt right here alongside Justin Harmon. Those are three pretty good options to get to the offensive boards. And Goody gives Illinois the lead. Four point trip for the Illini. And a game that's had 11 ties, 13 lead changes. Barnheiser. 
Martinelli taps it to Goody. Illinois got four last trip down. And Demas discards Demas oh. and a foul. He's got some real game. I think if you're Northwestern, this ball has got to be in the hands of this guy right here. It's got to be Boo Booey to stave off this run. Seven in a row for Illinois in less than a minute. Bowie on skates. And the answer. <laughs> that is a killer cross. That's just unbelievable. The response from Boo Booey. Just got the Illini crowd going. Bowie back in it after his three. Bowie. Barnheiser. Oh, Barnheiser just never quit on that play. It's the push by Bowie. That could have been numbers for Illinois. And back playing five on five. And Hawkins hits him back. That's another breakdown by Northwestern. Just not talking out. A simple pick and pop for Coleman Hawkins. He's not getting a more open shot than that. A very similar look in his eyes to a few games ago against Michigan. When he was in the zone. Right, Boo Boo, he's, he's seeking out this matchup with Goody and looking to go right at him. He crossed him up for a three a few trips ago. But he stopped him. Oh, what a pass. Nicholson. is as good as you will see this season. Well, Boo Booey is just breaking off Luke Goody. And take a look at the look that we got here. A little shrug to the crowd. He's impressed even with himself on that play. And Coleman Hawkins on the pick and pop. Northwestern is not handling it well. The, the kiss blown to the crowd. And then here the time by Ryan Langborg. This is high level hoops here. Both teams executing well here. We make our way into winning time. Barry. Shot making continues. They just pin, they pin him in. Illinois not staying tight. And Ty Barry has found the rhythm here in the second half. And North, Northwestern's won big games. Barry has scored big. 11 second half points. Gary A. Pretty good block out there. Langborg did what he needed to do. Justin Harmon flying in there. It just feels like every time a shot goes up, it's, it's a battle for Northwestern. Bowie on Damask. Into his legs. Turns around and he's just so good at jump stomping and using that spin to get back to his right hand floater. Four teams in the Big Ten. Punch for punch. Down the final four minutes. This gets deep. Northwestern needs to bring help. And there's Nicholson there. Armin Long Garrier. One of his best skills right there. Cleaning the offensive glass. Shannon three. He drills it. What a big one for Terrence Shannon. He had not made a three here tonight, but as we get down to the end of this game, big players, big time players are going to make big time plays, and that's exactly what that was. And he's 0 of 8 since he returned before that from three. Behind the back, Bowie, the mask back in it, and enough to resist Bowie. Well, you'll, you'll take that every time for Northwestern. Got to get back, though. 
Hawkins running. Nicholson did just enough to slow this back out. Shot making at a high level in this game. All tied up. Shannon. He's way off. You can see that from the time that left his hands. And Barnheiser got hit. Did they get a foul? They did. Western 55 is the shot making that's been on display so impressive. And the stars of the game starting to really shine here late. Perry slides it. Nicholson and the Cats back in front. And Illinois has just had no answer for the simple pin down. What a pass from Ty Berry. And Matthew Nicholson has really had an impact on this game as a roller here tonight. And four dunks for the Cats to get this crowd going. There's Gary, a baseline tough look. Barnheiser fighting, so is Hawkins. Hawkins away with it, and it spins off Hawkins again. Gary had hands on before Bowie finally secures him. Three and four opportunities. It's like Charles Smith back in the 90s playing against the Bulls in the Eastern Conference Finals, but Illinois has just had no ability tonight to, to cash in on some of these layups. Two point game. Who are we looking for a two possession lead? Late clock. Damask all Big over defense. him. Gary and Rips. He was physical and, and Bowie's down. So if Illinois can take advantage, they've got some numbers. Look ahead. Hawkins and to the line. Hawkins can tie it. All right, then they've delayed the shot, but you can see him just being demonstrative. It was upset with the officials for not getting the ball, and it doesn't matter, but. They'll get it to you. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna throw it to you. Illinois, a game back in the loss column in first place, Wisconsin. And a timeout for Northwestern. You don't want to foul a shooter in the act, but you, you can certainly be more aggressive. Northwestern lost this game by 30 in Champaign. Looking for their second top 10 win on their home floor this year. Ten in the clock. Boo booing. Gets Hawkins. Seven. Clock trips down for Langport. Four. Three. Spins. And leaves it short. Good defense by Hawkins. They tried him with Bowie. They tried him with Langborg. He got a good contest on what would have been a tough shot at the rim. Final minute. The mask working on a 20 point night. Help comes. Gives it up. Six on the clock. Harmon. Got to get busy here. Harmon knocks it in. That's a big time play. Now maybe Illinois is going to stay with and go over, but they've switched all night long on Bowie ball screens. How quick do you go? I think you got to go. Yeah, quickly. He does go quick. Bowie ties it. What a head fake. He got Terrence Shannon off his feet. And Boo Bowie with a heck of a play. Illinois is talking about a Big Ten championship. If they win it, this could be a possession that you look back at. Shot clock off. Marcus Damask, leading scorer in this game for the Illini. Inside seven, down to five. Four, Damask to work. Damask for the lead. No, tapped around and put another. Wisconsin in the lost column in the Big Ten. 40 not enough. Five more in Evanston with Illinois getting the ball first in overtime. Pretty Quincy Carey there. That first possession of overtime is so important. And he went over the top of a much bigger player in Nicholson to win that tip. Harmon had a big shot in regulation. Got clamps. Langborg there with the defense. Western has been led by Bowie. Second NCAA tournament appearance last year, finished in second place. That was an option play for Ty Berry there, and Terrence Chan did a great job of taking it all away. 
Clock is bleeding. Down to five. Barnheiser contested in an air ball. And Coleman Hawkins' awareness there that Gary A was behind to come out and get a solid contest. It's a, a really solid defensive possession for the Fighting Illini. Where do you think the legs are at right now? <laughs> You're running on pure adrenaline, and I, I think that both teams have played so hard, but you just kind of gut through it here. Situations like this, find a way. Hawkins backing in. Garrier, no. Harmon can't secure the third chance. Another missed layup or sequences of layups for Illinois. It's been the story so often here. Northwestern just continuing to, to try and survive on the glass. Nobody scored the first minute and a half. Until now. If I'm Justin Harmon, you cannot go under right there. Bowie has made so many clutch plays in his career. And that's just a mental mistake that you can't make at this stage in the game. The mask drives. Short. Rebound for Langborg. I thought Barnheiser might have gotten a piece of that. So many moments for Boo Booey already. They're going to be on the walls of this building forever when he's done here. Does he have another tonight? The give. Barnheiser. And oh, wow! Those are the types of mistakes that get you beat in games like this. And that is a four-point trip for Brooks Barnheiser. Illinois still scoreless in overtime. Good defense by Ty Perry. And Shannon gave it away. Bowie speeds to the rim. Nicholson plays. But what was Coleman Hawkins looking at? He let, he let Boo Bowie just get all the way to the rim, and then no block out. Nicholson just stayed with it. Seven. It was not an easy pass to handle for Bowie there. That was quite the catch. Right at the basket. And there is the sixth team foul. That's what they've been looking for. They've got the switch, and now it's just one on one. Bowie pulls and drills. in a hurry for the Illini. And Garrier fouled on a three. Langborg whizzing by him. This is just high-level stuff. A guy that has daggered so many people. And Garrier with the miss. It just feels like Northwestern has been in so many close games already this season. You think about Maryland here, the Nebraska game on the road, Purdue. They have certainly been battle tested. Illinois is a team that has not seen nearly as many close games in regulation. Double digit wins against Michigan and against Rutgers. Be careful with Coleman Hawkins. He's got those active hands. Have to secure the ball for Langborg. He protects it. Milk in the clock. Seven to shoot. Langborg has swatted. Hawkins with two hands. Assistant coach to Chris Collins. His specialty right here. It gets oh, Nicholson. Man. Illinois just all out of sorts on the screening action. They've got a switch late, and Matthew Nicholson wisely slipping it all the way to the rim. Gary A3, and he's hit again. This time it's Nicholson. And Matt Nicholson is fouled out of the game on that foul. No, he was terrific yeah. tonight. And this is exactly what Chris Collins needs from a guy that anchored their team last year defensively. If Northwestern wins. Safe to say he's one of the biggest differences. Game one to game two. I, I mean, you look at the way Boo Booey played. He had 20, but didn't have an assist. Tonight he's got 27 and 7. The lead eight for Northwestern. Into the final minute. When Illinois fouls, 
Hurst looking for a steal. It'll be a one and one for Northwestern. It hasn't come yet, and there it is. I just feel like with Boo Booey, when, when the competition rises, a guy that was going to be hunting shots, and now you don't see him make the wrong play very often, or hardly at all. 45 seconds to go. Shannon on the attack, and that rolls down. I like it by Shannon. He need points quickly. Just get to the rim and let something happen. And Goody gives the foul. In and out. Door still open for Illinois. Shannon back to the rack. Barry strips him, and he is fouled. Boy, that was so good by Ty Barry. The anticipation just jumps that drive and takes the ball from Taryn Shannon. Shannon is just looking to get downhill. You're moving your feet. You get your hand on the basketball, and that's a big play by Ty Barry. Northwestern staff rides him hard. It's because working. they they, ex they expect so much from it. I mean, when they play well, usually Ty Berry is playing well as well. 14 points, Ty Berry, all in the second half in overtime. Lead back to 10. Mask on the cross on Barnheiser. That counts. Clock stops. 27 seconds. And a foul right away. Less than a second comes off. Western. Has not beaten a top 10 Illinois team since 1956. They also want to nudge their way into the conversation for being able to catch Wisconsin, catch Purdue. This is just such a massive win for their NCAA tournament resume. Got the big win against Purdue. The Chicago State game was a, a real blemish on their NCAA tournament look. But this, but this, this is their last home quad one, one game. Hawkins got them both. Bowie traps. No foul given. Into the half court. Doesn't look like Illinois is going to foul. Well, Hawkins got it back, and here comes Harmon. Five seconds. That counts. Down to three, down to two, down to one. And Northwestern with another top ten win at home.